Hello artists, today I want to introduce you to Snapseed. It's a very useful app to use when you are uh, using your artwork um, on Instagram or even to send it in for grading. So you open up Snapseed, which is a free app, and you scroll through your photos library until you find the picture that you're going to work on. You choose it. And you can see this picture is not quite centered correctly. It's off in the corners. It's also a little too yellow and too dark. So I look at the um, different filters and I find the one fine art is the most accurate to this particular drawing. So you can see what it looked like before and once it's been color corrected. And I can also click on the tools, which looks like a little pencil. And there's a whole lot of different things I can choose. I'm gonna choose the perspective. And you can see I can, if my painting or picture is tilted, I can straighten it up. And this time I used the free. Did you see me um, lowering the left and here, the top right, I'm stretching it out so that it, you don't see any of that background. You can also use it to crop. This image was already pretty cropped, so I just needed to straighten out the edges. Um, I can work with the app to correct temperature and correct values, all sorts of things. You can see I'm working on the brightness now. Um, and also on the temperature, originally it was too, too warm, um, but it's a little too cool in the fine art, so I'm adding a little bit of warmth back into the paper, closer to what the original was. And then I save it, and I can save it as, so that I can always keep the original. One of the things I can do is I can add text very easily on Snapseed to any image, and this is a very useful um, thing to do when you're going to be posting your work on Instagram, a lot of times people like to add uh, tags or to write things on their drawings. Um, and so this is a great way to add text. And you get to choose from a number of um, writing styles, uh, labels, and box shapes. Um, you can change the color, you can turn it, you can move that text wherever you want. And in a second you'll see how I change that to so you can just pick and choose and of course you can also change the color of your text so this is one of the many apps that are available that are free uh, Snapseed is one of the easiest and it lets you uh, make all kinds of adjustments to your photos um, in the way that a Photoshop would make all these changes and on top of it all you can save the original keep the original and save as so you save a copy um, now let's take a look if you don't uh, want to bloat your phone with a bunch of apps you can just work with your photos library scroll through I'm gonna find a picture here this is from one of the paintings done last quarter and I'm gonna use it here to show you how you can, working within your photo apps, you can crop the image. You can tilt it so that you can get it to be um, correct, you know, and a lot of times when we take the photos, it's not uh, keystoned, so it's tilting one way or another, and you can work on that in photos. You can also correct temperature, uh, you can correct values, all sorts of things. Here's a photo, for example, that I took from the printmaking studio. And I'm going to use that photo app to show you all the different ways. So here's the auto, it corrected my lighting. Sometimes auto does weird things to color. So I can go in and correct the exposure, make it too light, too dark, make it just right. Brilliance uh, works in the light areas. Shadows works in the dark areas. Black points so that your black looks truly black and not gray. 
warmth is typically the one that most people will need to adjust because a lot of our lights are incandescent. And then once you adjust the temperature, you want to change the shift so it most closely resembles what you're seeing. If your picture uh, is, was shot um, late at night or in the dark, you can reduce noise. And so these are just some of the ways in which you can make the pictures you upload look better.